so hello friends my name is panindra in this video let us discuss about the topic types of replication which is a sequence of uh, part one of dna replication so what is meant by linear replication and not only linear replication there are another two types of replication so first let us discuss about the linear replication so this linear replication this takes place only in the linear chromosomes and it mainly in consists of three steps initiation elongation and termination so what is first step initiation so what is meant by initiation i have said you in the previous part that is nothing but initiation here the double stranded dna which is also known as mother dna will get will get separated into two single strands which are known as daughter individuals with the help of an uh phenomena known as dna replication this is known as dna replication and that initiation is mainly done with the help of proteins where the proteins mainly bind uh, to the origin of replication what i have said you origin of replication nothing but oocyte see here this is the oocyte here the proteins mainly bind to the oocyte with the help of that proteins then that proteins mainly helps in the uh, what we say breaking of hydrogen bonds that have been that hydrogen bonds are break between the nucleotides then the separation of strands takes place that is the double strand will get converted into the single strand and this phenomena is known as initiation next let us go to elongation during elongation a primer sequence what is mean by primer i have said you that primer is mainly consists of nucleotides that is nothing but whether it may consists of either uh, purines or else or pyrimidines and that sequence is known as primer sequence or else nucleotide sequence and during elongation that nucleotide sequence or primer sequence is added with the complementary rna nucleotides what is mean by complementary rna nucleotides so here i have said you that complementary rna nucleotides segments of rna that is nothing but the nucleotides which are mainly present in the rna what is nucleotides purines and pyrimidines that is nothing but adenine guanine cytosine tyrosine and uracil all of this consists of uh, RNA nucleotides, which comes under the nucleotides, and that nucleotides comes under the nitrogenous bases, and that here the primer sequence is added with the complementary RNA nucleotides along with that, uh, uh, along with the nucleotides will also get added, which are replaced with DNA nucleotides. So RNA nucleotides are separate and DNA nucleotides separate, and this RNA nucleotides will get replaced with DNA nucleotides. In the diagram I have drawn here, see here. This normally there is a RNA nucleotide gap, and that will be filled with the DNA nucleotides. We will that is nothing but it will get converted into the DNA nucleotides. Okay, and that this process will take place in the elongation. By the and mainly forms lagging strand and leading strand. So what are mean by leading strand and lagging strand? Leading strand is made continuously, whereas lagging strand is made in the pieces called Okazaki fragments. So let us discuss this in the diagram. That nothing but two times. Lagging strand and leading strand and lagging strand. So, what are these leading strand and lagging strand? See here. I have said you that leading strand is continuous. See here. If you see properly here, the leading strand. Wait a minute. This is the leading strand, which is continuous. Whereas lagging strand, there is a pieces breaking of pieces, and that breaking of pieces are nothing but Okazaki fragments, and that strands are known as lagging strand. So, it is named as lag because there is a lag between each of the part, each of the pore. Which are known as that is nothing but each of the fragment that is Okazaki fragment. So it is said to be as lagging strand. Whereas leading strand it is continuous. There is no breaking down takes place in the leading strand. So it is said to be as continuous. Whereas lagging strand it is said to be as discontinuous because of the presence of Okazaki fragments. And this is uh, this is the phenomena which takes place in the elongation. Now let us talk about termination. Primers are removed and replaced with new DNA nucleotides, and the backbone of new DNA nucleotide is sealed by DNA ligase. So primers are removed so wow, in previous part 1 what i have said to you what is the function of ligase see here ligase is an enzyme which helps in attachment or joining of dna fragments so here primers are removed and replaced with new dna nucleotides and the backbone of new dna nucleotide is sealed by the dna ligase and primers here the enzyme primers also works upon this termination that is nothing but uh, synthesis of primer takes place and the D and ligase and it also helps in attachment whereas in dna polymer is one it helps in removal of primer that is the primer will get removed see here and what is there here primer will get removed with the help of an enzyme dna polymer is one which i have said you in part 1 and replaced with new dna nucleotides and this also will done uh, with the help of an enzyme dna polymer is one see here this is an enzyme which helps in removal of primer and fill in the gaps fill in the gap is nothing but sealed uh, the new nucleotide new dna nucleotides which is replaced with new dna nucleotides uh, for proper understanding let us know in the diagram 
see here here the gaps are left over and the gaps are mainly filled with dna nucleated with the help of an enzyme dna, DNA polymerase one dna polymerase one but not three dna there is a huge difference between dna polymerase one and dna polymerase three okay here the dna polymerase function takes place in which the gaps are mainly filled with dna nucleotides okay and this is the main phenomena of termination now let us discuss about the diagram so what is mean with the diagram and this is phi dash phi dash and this is three dash end so here this is the one of the stand and this is another stand phi dash and phi dash to three dash and three dash to phi dash end and here two replication folks are takes place why why the replication folks are takes place because dna replication where the double standard dna is mainly converted into the single standard dna it mainly forms two replicative folks that is two single standard replicative folks and the two single standard replicative folks are known as this both this both are two single single standard replicative folks whereas and that each of the replicative folks is each of the single replicative folks mainly consists of both leading stand and lagging stand what is leading stand leading stand is continuous whereas lagging stand is discontinuous because of the presence of okazaki fragments okay and this will undergo the second step and what happens in the second step see here this is 5 dash to 3 dash end which I, which i have drawn with the blue color a blue color pen and next 3 dash to 5 dash end which is not, nothing but single stand replicative folk 5 dash to 3 dash end and here is the okazaki fragment at the 5 dash end hit the 5 dash end and we are coming to the second strand uh, along with the mother dna and also with the replicative folk whereas blue color is nothing but mother dna whereas black color pen which i have drawn is known as replicative folk and here also the okazaki fragment is present at the 5 dash end and when it undergoes in the third step what happens here is 5 dash to 3 dash end which i have drawn with the blue pen is known as mother dna 3 dash to 5 dash end and that okazaki fragments will get uh, removed that is nothing but trimers will get removed with the help of an enzyme ligase or as dna polymerase and that will get removed and that gaps which are mainly present bit in the 5 dash end of both the strands will get replaced with the dna nucleated cell uh, and here also the enzyme which is mainly responsible for this filling of gaps with the dna nucleotides is also known as dna polymerase 1 okay finally the dna nucleotides uh, will get filled and the total replication again takes place that is nothing but it, it this acts as mother dna and mainly forms another uh, replicative folks that is nothing but single standard dna which undergoes dna replication and this is known as linear replication and second one is rolling circle replication rcr that is nothing but rcr rolling circle replication it is abbreviated as rcr and this R rcr describes a process of unidirectional nucleotide nucleic acid nothing but nucleic acid replication and what is mean by nucleic, nucleic acid that, that is nothing but genetic material of dna it is said to be as nucleic acid a unidirectional nucleic acid replication that can rapidly synthesize multiple copies of circular molecules of dna or rna examples plasmid genome of bacteriophage and rna of virus what is what do you understand this definition is to understand this definition we have to learn about the diagram see here this is a rolling uh, rolling circular dna which mainly consists of double standard dna this is a double stand but not single stand it is double stand when it undergoes this d uh, this rolling circular replication then finally separation of one of the strand separation of one of the strand takes place in the rolling circular manner only in the rolling circle only in the circle manner and mainly forms another double standard dna with the help with the help of an uh, with the help of a phenomena known as replication and that replication is known as rolling circular replication why it is considered as rolling why it is named as rolling because the replication takes place in a circle manner in a rolling manner hence it is said to be as rolling circular replication it is said to be as a circle manner hence it is named as unidirectional unidirectional only in a single direction okay hence it is known as uh, rolling circular replication example plasmids genome of bacteriophage uh, and rna of virus genome of bacteriophage if you take as t bacteriophage uh, and e coli examples these are the examples of rolling circular replication and second point is rcr rolling circular replication is mainly initiated by initiator protein which is encountered by bacteriophage and plasmids so here rcr rolling circular replication is initiated by the initiator protein if you discuss a uh, okay how uh, i will say you a phenomena see here rcr rolling circular replication is mainly initiated by the initiator protein which is encoded by bacteriophage and plasmids so what what did he say here is this is the initiator protein and that initiator protein is mainly bind attached to only first only first strand this is the first strand and this is the second strand and that initiator protein will be mainly bind to the first strand okay initiated initiator protein which is mainly attached to the first strand and then it mainly nicks one of the strand of the double stranded dna and creates 5 dash and 3 dash end so here 
initiator protein is mainly attached to the first of the first strand of dna and that dna will gets nicked that is nothing but breakdown takes place so here the breakdown takes place so that what happens there will be separation of first strand but not the second strand separation of first strand takes place so that due to that separation it mainly forms 5 dash end and 3 dash end two uh, two dash uh, two ends are mainly formed due to the separation of uh, first strand by the initiator protein 5 dash end and 3 dash end are mainly formed nicked strand so this is named as nicked strand and mainly forms on 5 dash and 3 dash end and coming to the next point initiator protein is attached along with 5 dash end and gets elongated so what happens this is the initiator protein this is the initiator protein and i have forgot to draw here Initiator protein will be attached at the 5 dash end itself and that initiator protein mainly helps in elongation that is nothing but see here this is a uh, the the part which I have drawn that next strand I have named there right and that next strand will get elongated with the help of that uh, protein initiator protein what is the main function of that initiator protein is it has capacity to pull out the first strand which will get eliminated that is nothing but this is a first strand it pull out so that is nothing but due to that pulling elongation takes place with the help of an enzyme known as initiator protein okay next unnicked strand which acts as templates will leave it and gets elongated with the help of an enzyme known as pcra pcra means nothing but plasmid copy reduced a enzyme this is an enzyme so what you understand this point is see here this is nicked strand what they said is unnicked strand this is the unnicked strand this is nicked strand and this is unnicked strand inside one is unnicked strand upper one is nicked strand and this unnicked strand will get separated from the nicked strand and during the due and will and when it gets separated the nicked strand will act as template strand and gets complementary that is nothing but i have said you in the part when it gets complementary and mainly forms another strand such that it undergoes another another phenomenon of replication second fin uh, second replication okay uh, in that way it mainly forms with the help of an enzyme known as pcra don't forget to write this enzyme in the examinations because it is one of the most important thing pcra plasmid copy reduced a this type of DNA synthesis occurs in many double standard DNA which results in the formation of many single standard DNA. So, exactly. Not only in one single double standard DNA, there are many double standard DNA which are mainly present in the cell. And all of the double standard DNA, if it undergoes rolling circular replication, then it undergoes rolling circular replication. And then it mainly forms many single standard DNA. Many single standard DNA. And next. Single standard DNA which is mainly formed it will be get converted into double standard DNA with the help of an enzyme known as DNA polymerase 3 and DNA ligase. Okay, what do you understand by that point is I previously have explained you that with the help of DNA polymerase 3. This is a DNA polymerase 3. In part 1, I have explained you what is mean by DNA polymerase 3. Uh, this is a, one of the most important enzyme which mainly helps in the important role in DNA replication. So, wh uh, what is the main function of the DNA polymerase 3 is it converts the double standard DNA into the another double standard DNA that is nothing but phenomena takes place Be, uh, in, the, in the phenomena takes place that is nothing but replication phenomena takes place in such a way that double standard DNA will get double standard DNA will get converted into double standard DNA with the help of an enzyme known as DNA polymerase 3 finally this is the phenomenon known as rolling circular replication so there is nothing to understand here there is nothing but double standard dna uh, if for example plasmid or t bacteriophage dna will undergo uh, will undergo phenomena to undergo replication that is nothing but initiator protein will get attached to the first strand and will attach it to the first strand first strand but not to the second strand and that initiator protein with uh, this initiator protein mainly helps in breakdown of the first strand but not to the second strand so here breakdown takes place due to that breakdown what happens 5 dash end and 3 dash end takes place formation of 5 dash and 3 dash takes place and that strand is known as nicked strand nicked strand because nicking takes place only at the first strand because of the initiator protein hence it is known, named as nicked strand and then the nicked strand with the help of uh, and here the initiator protein will be will get attached i have drawn in the red color right the, the nicked protein uh, that is nothing but initiator protein will get attached at the 5 dash and the main function of the nicked protein is it mainly pulls out the nicked strand it mainly pushes the next strand. Due to that pulling, what happens? The, it gets elongated. The first strand will get elongated. And that elongated nucleated strand finally gets displaced. Okay? And finally gets displaced with the help of an enzyme PCRA. With the help of an enzyme PCRA, what happens? The next strand will get converted into the double stranded DNA with the help of an enzyme DNA ligase and also with the help of an enzyme known as DNA polymerase 3. So this is the only phenomenon which takes place in the rolling circular replication. So now let us discuss about D-loop. 
replication and this dual loop replication is also known as unidirectional replication uh, and the rolling circular replication is also known as unidirectional replication because the replication takes place only in a single way but not in the dual steps okay and what a first point d, d loop replication is also known as displacement loop or unidirectional type of replication okay and that phenomenon of d loop replication occurs in mitochondrial dna and this type of replication can be seen in mammals and other organisms also and the mitochondrial dna has two strands they are heavy chain and light chains which are denoted by h and l see here and this is the uh, the outer strand is known as h strand that is nothing but heavy chain strand whereas the inside one is known as l strand that is nothing but light chain strand okay uh, coming to the next point heavy chain heavy chain of mitochondrial dna strand mainly consists of purines okay and it mainly consists of purines what are purines purines also purines consists of adenine and guanine only okay that is nothing that th th those are known as purines whereas light chain mainly consists of pyrimidines so you see here the I, I, what i have said you that heavy chains mainly consists of purines whereas light chains mainly consists of pyrimidines purines uh, purines comes under uh, nitrogenous bases which mainly consists of adenine and guanine whereas light chain mainly consists of pyrimidines what is pyrimidines pyrimidines mainly consists of uh, cytosine tyrosine and uracil okay and these are these both are heavy chains and light chains which mainly consists of both purines and pyrimidines uh, uh, mitochondrial dna consists of two oocytes and what are oocytes origin sites of replication are known as origin sites where the phenom where the initiation of replication takes place are known as oocytes and the dual replication mainly starts from the heavy chain of m mitochondrial dna see here the outer one is known as heavy 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 strand or heavy chain and this dna type and this type of replication mainly takes place from the heavy chain but not from the light chain see here we uh, if you understand in the diagram the replication mainly takes place in the heavy chain that is not, that is nothing but outer outer part outer chain and this here d loop d loop is mainly formed such that here this is a d shaped hence it named as d loop replication it is mainly forms d loop and that replication will gets elongated in to or throughout the throughout the outer strand such that it mainly it gets bulged out it gets bulged out and finally it gets protruded finally it gets protruded okay and then when the construction of dna is up to 66% then the synthesis of l strand and synthesis of l strand takes place and uh, l strand will be protruded out displayed or else displayed out where 66% of construction of dna after 66% of construction of dna that is nothing but see here the total that it will get totally bulged out that is nothing but it totally gets elongated here finally when it gets 66% elongated then what happens it gets protruded out that which one is which one will get protruded out the l strand will gets protruded out first then the uh, heavy chain will gets protruded if it not gets protruded also nothing will happen because it because it is it is separated at the initial stage only okay after after the completion of 66% of the formation of dna that is nothing but protrusion that is nothing but displacement then finally 36% of dna will get constructed this is nothing but d loop of replication and finally we learned three types of replication that is nothing but linear replication uh, circular replication and d loop replication which is also known as unidirectional replication or displacement loop of replication these are the three types of replication dna replication so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box i will clarify your doubts thank you